So here in this video, we're going to look at the difference between linear and joint motions. So I currently have the program for linear motions up. We're going to uh, start at the home point, go through points A, B, C, and D around the edge of the red box, and return. So since we're doing linear motions, we're going to move in a straight line. So one of the things to note is that as the program runs, it's going to stop at each point. That's the termination fine that you see listed there. So as it moves along, it goes to point A, point B, and now it's at point C, and it hesitates at each one of those points before executing the next instruction. But as you can see, as it traced around the red box, we have perfectly straight lines. So now I'm going to select the joint, the same program, but with joint motions. And it's going to, we'll go ahead and run this program. And as you'll see, it's still going to go to each point and hesitate. But now it's making curved motions. This is because it's making smooth arc motions to each point as opposed to following a straight line. All right, so joint motions are easier for the robot, just like it's easier for a person to move their arm. But you, you can see it still went to each point and it hesitated at each point, but as it moved to those different points it made arc arcing lines instead of perfectly smooth now some of them look straighter these ones along the edge look pretty straight maybe they have a little bit of a arch to them but the ones along the other ones definitely have it but you can see if we zoom in a little bit on this that it's not directly straight in there it does have an arch kind of motion. 